Hey, what's going on? This is Rob from Panther and today I'm going to show you how to create this uh, gradient flower. But first, I want to present you a guest. Today I want to share with you a domestic online course from Michael Johnson, one of the greatest and most talented graphic designers nowadays, who's also the author of the books Branding and Problem Solved. What I love in this course is that he's showing you a lot of case studies how he's taking the brand strategy and transforming the data into clever design. He's gonna teach you how to solve problems in a business with strategy and most importantly, you're gonna see how he does it in practice with the biggest companies out there such as Mozilla, Duolingo, University of Cambridge, and many more. It's gonna give you enough clarity that design is not just this cheap logo thingy, it actually can increase the company's revenues a lot if it's done in the right way. There's actually case studies of this stuff. In this course, you're gonna find simplified strategy, rebranding, verbal communications, a lot of case studies, and some really good book recommendations. If you wanna see more, click the link in the description and check it out. First thing first, let's make sure that we don't have anything on the field. Click on the field, click on the none, so it's empty. Click on the stroke, select the color. I'm gonna go with black. Go with the circle, usually the rectangle tool is on the top. Gonna select the ellipse tool, press and hold shift plus alt and create a circle. So I gotta make sure that the stroke is in the center because it's annoying. I'm gonna go to the stroke options and click on align stroke to center. There we go. Scale it down a little. Go to the effects, go to the store transform, transform. Make five copies of this and the angle should be on 60 degrees and check out the horizontal i gotta go with 70. there you go click ok so now we got this shape going on i'm gonna go to the object expand appearance right click on group i'm gonna delete most of these and i'm gonna remain with two select both press shift plus m or go to the shape builder tool and press and hold alt delete the side okay so this is what we need to have first and now we're gonna make the colors also i'm gonna switch this to uh, fill from stroke so go here where's the little swap fill and stroke so now it's you know on the fill okay i'm gonna create a rectangle so here here's the rectangle create a rectangle like this and now you should have something like this, the mesh tool, or you can press the U. If you don't have the mesh tool, then click on these three dots and just scroll here. Basically here is the mesh tool, you know. Okay, so we selected the mesh tool and uh, you drag the mouse here and you just click, click, click until, you know, make some more lines in here. And those lines eventually gonna be filled with colors. I just gonna go freestyle. I don't have any plans what to do and how to do it. And there you go. This is how it looks. And from here, we're gonna select a dot. I mean, an anchor point, basically, because these are some sort of anchor points. They don't look like anchor points, but but anyways, you select it and you just go to the swatches and select some colors. You know. And recolor it. Look at that. Red, blue. And you know, I, I just did it. Okay, so this is how it looks right now. And also, if you, you know, press on one of these dots and you pull it, and this is basically, you know, the mesh, the color gradient mesh, or what is that called? I'm not using it. Usually, this is a trend. Everyone is doing it right now. So I'm doing it too. Why not? And you know, you just pull these up. Uh, you know test them out so yeah i don't know what i'm doing to be honest but so far it looks good so what's the idea so drag it and put it on on the moon but this is basically looks like a moon so right click arrange send to back so the moon is going to be on the top select both right click make clipping mask and from here we're gonna go again to the effects distort and transform transform make five copies i think i don't know here i forgot the measurements but uh it should be like somewhere around 60 and here i don't know vertical and horizontal i really have no ideas but you just need to scroll these you know the horizontal and vertical until they match each other got it so for me it's 103 
and vertical is 64 now it really depends like what's the dimension of your shape that's that is basically going to determine these numbers you know but uh, the angle is all the time 60 degrees the copies all are the time five click ok you can select the direct selection tool from here there you go and you just go here and you can work it like this too so you know the direct selection tool that's what it's made for for this purpose and this is how you just adjust you know however you want it and you can create some wild colorful things and this is how you make a beautiful colorful flower where you can you know experiment a lot and you know you just test it out it's a lot of fun man and this was it thank you so much for watching and if you're new on the channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos have a great day bye bye